Hi kids! Merry Christmas and welcome to my kitchen. It's a wonderful time of year and I came up with a wonderful story. This story is called Look Out! Rockefeller Center. And for those students that didn't know, Rockefeller Center is in New York City. And it's a place you can visit uh, during the Christmas season. And you can go ice skating. They have one of the most beautiful Christmas trees every single year. And that's what our story is about. Enjoy! When Rebecca was in second grade, she received a special gift that stayed with her throughout her whole life. On Arbor Day, Friday, April 28th of that year, her teacher gave her and everyone in her class a little tree. Now students, these are very special trees. These are pine trees. When you get home, find a special place to plant yours. Take care of your tree and one day it will grow to be big and strong. And maybe one day it will even be a Christmas tree. And here's little Rebecca in second grade. Okay, here she is. And this is the little pine tree that her teacher gave her. Rebecca accepted the challenge. She found the perfect spot. She planted her little tree behind the tall white silo on her farm. The little tree was protected from the wind and had plenty of water. Little tree, she said, I'm going to watch over you and care for you. You are going to become the most beautiful, tall, straight Christmas tree that anyone has ever seen. Look out, Rockefeller Center. Each season, Rebecca cared for her little tree. Each year, she marveled over how much her tree grew. And here she is, kids. She's marveling over how much her tree grew. Remember, it was just down here when she first planted it. And now, because of the protection of the silo, it's getting taller and taller as the years go by. And so is Rebecca. When Rebecca graduated from high school, she had her senior picture taken next to the tree. When she graduated from college, she had her picture taken with the tree again. Look out, Rockefeller Center. One day, I'll have my picture taken with this tree in New York City, Rebecca exclaimed. The years passed and Rebecca moved on with her life. She married, she had children, she had grandchildren, but she never neglected the little pine tree. Each generation would celebrate family occasions and always have the tree behind the silo in their photographs. They continued to marvel how straight and tall and full the pine tree was. So here's one of the pictures on Rebecca's wedding day. She has her wedding dress on and you can see the tree is growing taller and taller. 
Still getting her picture taken with the tree. It was a sight to see. That little tree started getting to be taller than the silo. On Rebecca's 100th birthday, something special happened. Two men came to look at the tree behind the silo. Oh my, they exclaimed. We think this is the perfect tree. Look out, Rockefeller Center. We think we have a winner. Rebecca's family listened to what the men had to say. Wow, Grandma. They want to take your tree to New York City. That's quite an honor. You can see how tall the tree had gotten. It was reaching above the silo. So there, these men, they want to take the tree uh, to actually put it up in Rockefeller Center to show the whole world. At first, Rebecca was excited. After all, isn't that what she had always wanted? To have her little pine tree become a grand Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center. Rebecca looked at all the photos of her and her family next to that beautiful tree behind the silo. She thought of all the happy memories. No, she cried out. What? Everyone exclaimed, no. She whispered again, no, I can't let those men cut down and take away our family tree. That tree is just too special for Rockefeller Center. We are going to leave it right where it is. And these are all the pictures that uh, she was looking at when she said, no, I can't cut that tree down. Here she is in second grade right here, planting the tree. Here's her graduation picture. Okay, here she is with her husband on her wedding day. And this is the picture of Rebecca on her 90th birthday. And look at, she's got her kids, she's got all her grandkids, her great-grandkids. And that beautiful tree was always in the background. And now, she's not able to let it go. The family looked through all the photos. And they had to agree. No... We're sorry, they said to the two men. She is right. You'll have to find another tree for Rockefeller Center. Rebecca stood up and walked the men to their car. And then she said, Look out, Rockefeller Center, because this year my little pine tree is going to be the most beautiful Christmas tree this country ever saw and it was and here's her christmas tree kids she kept it right in the backyard and you can't even see the silo anymore except the very bottom because it had grown so big by her hundredth birthday and that christmas the barn the little pond with the water. And this Christmas day, they had the most beautiful Christmas tree. More beautiful than Rockefeller Center's tree. <laughs> the end. And I wanted to show you guys. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas! 
And this is what I wanted to show you. This is the real tree that my daughter planted when she was in second grade. There's the little barn back there. And we're waiting year by year to see how big it is. Now you have to remember my daughter was six when she planted the tree and she's 27 right now. So this tree has a long way to go before she turns 100. And this is actually a picture of my daughter when she was little. This is her in second grade. She's swinging on the rope. She's wearing rollerblades and she's playing in the yard at the farm. All right, kids. Uh, it was fun to write this little Christmas story for you. And it's about holding on to things that are special to you. Okay. Um, and in this case, um, we'll see about Rebecca's tree. We, we hope it lasts for those hundred years. I don't know. Maybe one day it will go to Rockefeller Center. Not sure. Um, I just also want to give a quick uh, holiday shout out to all our military. I've been thinking about you and uh, we're forever blessed okay, to have all these people. And one more picture of the tree from Rockefeller Center. All right, kids, I love y'all, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.